hello and welcome to my channel i will i will be showing you how to make this uh this sink here okay so let me turn on the cavity first aha uh -huh. here we are i'm gonna show you how to model this simple sink okay so i'm gonna be a bit slower today because uh my 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 right wrist is uh quite injured but i still can move it around but not very long okay so yeah let's begin I'm gonna hide this one first. Press H to hide. I'm gonna press one and shift A to add a plane. I'm using a plane for this, okay? And we got that plane. So if you want to be uh, precise, turn this on. The snap tool. Go to up, go to now. You can model this with a precise one. I mean, if I press here, if I press G to X. You got something like that okay so if you want it even a little bit you can zoom it out maybe you can press seven make sure in top view if you want to be as to be them to be smaller and zoom them zoom them out okay so uh stop helping okay okay so i'm gonna grab this to the no i, I think i'm gonna extrude actually extrude is better because i make it before i use this plane and i extrude okay so i'm gonna extrude there to the x something yeah something that long would do okay press seven now to see the up view and you got that basic one over there hey yeah basic i think this one is a distraction this two is the distraction so i'm gonna select this two and I press h to hide then press seven again and let's make this one first the holes make that a little bit longer make that px okay to make this hole here it's actually quite very easy add for add loop cuts over there control b to bevel oh make sure you scroll okay scroll down okay if you increase the scroll if you scroll up i mean if you scroll up you're actually adding more of it so i'm just gonna scroll down just want that okay Okay, something like there yeah something like there and let's set over here one add control r to add loop cut a bit over here i think that's good yeah that one would do we, we might add few more loops cut later so i'm gonna go to face select press 3 or you can use to go to here if you're on the desktop then yeah you can press 3 i'm gonna press 3 i'm gonna press 1 now Press E to extrude to the Z, okay? To the Z. Make sure it's straight Z, okay? Not not a uh, grab. Not some not uh, not not. Uh, what am I saying? Not like this, okay? Just press Z. But first, so Z that I'll make I'll do that again. Okay. So as the face select. Press E to extrude, and press Z, okay? Press that again. Make sure the Z is highlighted brighter. And something over there. Something that's sync over there. Okay. So now press uh, I to insert, but we're not gonna insert. Okay. We're gonna hold B. No, not yet. We're not gonna make that yet. Let's make the hole. So how do I make this hole? I add a loop cut. Control R. Add a loop cut over there. And Control, control B. Something like that. I believe something like that. And let's uh, control R again over the middle, and move you scroll up. And there we go. So this is the hole. No, but I'm not gonna add anything yet. Yes, I'm gonna press seven. See what we miss. Yes, we did miss a lot. So I'm gonna press three face select. I'm gonna delete this one now. Delete those face suddenly. Oop. Delete those face. Okay, got something like that. Okay. We can make this round, but I'm gonna show you that later, okay? Let's focus over here now. Let's make the other you know the wave stuff here from the metal. I don't know what it calls, but something like that, okay? So let's go to here. Um, add few more loop cuts 
on it. Over there. That will be too much, I believe. This. This and this. Yeah, it is too much loop. But yeah, maybe it helps. So go to face select now. Like this, 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 and this. And I'm gonna press E to extrude, E to extrude to the Z, okay? But not like that, okay? So I'm gonna close that, that, press 1. Let's turn this off now because I'm gonna use it manually from now. Press E to extrude, no, not that. Right click, extrude individual face, okay? And got something like that. Just a little bit, not, no need for too long. And this is a low poly, okay? You don't have to focus that much. Now, now I'm gonna go to here. Make sure your pivot point over here, set it to individual, okay? Now I'm gonna press S to the Y. S, scale it to the Y. It should go something like that, okay? You don't have to think too much because it's a low poly. Okay, there we go. Very good. Something like that. I think this one is too sharp. So I'm gonna close that undo all. Let's add another loop cut here. Oh, where is it? Ah, control R to add another loop cut. Bring it over here. Okay, something like that. And like this face, I'm gonna press 7. And I'm gonna press C. This is new one, <laughs> new method, I believe. Uh, okay. I think I need to add another loop cut over here. This time I'm not going to use the snapping tool because this is about your instinct. Okay. Your instinct, your style. Okay, so I'm going to press C or you can just select here. Press, I mean, go to face first. Press this, hold shift, and press here. Nah, not like that. <laughs> just press C would do. Okay, that would do. Right click, individual face. In individual face, yes, individual face. Okay, just a little bit, but not too much. And scale it to the and make sure you're in the, the individual origin pivot point, okay? Scale it to the Y. Yeah, something like that. This is a low poly, because you don't have to think too much about the high poly stuff or whatever, okay? So, I think we're almost done. So I'm going to select all here. I'm going to select it all by pressing A and press M. And merge by distance. The reason why we did that, because if we have any doubles, that's going to be trouble. So to avoid any double by distance, okay, press M and Y distance, okay? So the last part, I believe, let's make the spear here, this one. Let's make it, turn it into a spear. I mean, almost spear, okay? So, oh. Let me add another loop cut, control R. Now it's balance. Okay. Add here, add another loop cut here, control R here. Add another one again here. And there we go. The more you got, the rounder it is. But this is a low poly. So, why do you need to think too much? It's up to you. <laughs> okay. Make sure you hold Alt. Oh, hold Alt. And select this here. This is the one that you want to turn it into a sphere. So, how to turn this into a sphere? Go to edges here. No, not there. The transform from the mesh, okay? Transform and choose this one. Or you can just go to shortcut, shift, alt, s, okay? Now I'm going to select this one to sphere. As I move my, my cursor around, it should be moving something like that. I think that's way too round, and it's very good. It's quite big, but you can make it small. Oh, yeah, press play. You can make it small. Okay, select again and press S. Just press S to scale. Okay, something like that. Okay. Oh, one last thing we need is this. Select those edge over here. Select it over there. Oh, wrong edge. Oh, wrong that one again. Select this one, this one, this one, that one as well. 
and press E to extrude. The reason why I make this because most sink has a little bit of something to hold for the on the bottom. That really and scale it a little bit. Ah, here we go. There we go, guys. That's our sink over there. Okay, you don't have to add. I mean, to make it balanced, adding a few loop cuts. No need to add that. Unless if you want to go in high poly and to add a subdivision surface on it, you might need to add some few loop cuts, okay? But this is a low poly, no need to think too much, and just do something like that, yeah? Look at that, guys, very good. Oh, one more thing we forgot. This one here, let's make it rounder, okay? So I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift now. But first, press this edge here, hold Alt, and now hold now i mean hold alt and shift select it like that like that and that and now you can just scale it scale just a little bit and make it round control b cut something like that now make it rounder add more loop cuts and it should be look a little bit round there we go look at that it looks round right very cool. So that's how you model the things over there. For the last part, let's paint it. Go to uh, way uh, shading here, and no need to think too much about texturing or something. Just add a color, okay? Since this is metal, just go to this one base color, reduce it a little bit, increase the metal, but not this. But this one, if you want it like that, it's up to you. I'm gonna get roughness over there. This is a little bit shine, so increase that. Yeah, something like that, okay? So, that's how you model a low poly, uh, what do you call? Sink, okay? Very cool. If you want, add the solidify on it. And it has some thickness. Even if it's a little, but that long, uh, it has some thickness, okay? So, that's how to model a sink, okay? There are other ways as well. You can choose. It's up to you, okay? I mean, yeah. It's completely up to you how to model it. If you want to model it, start it from sphere or start it from what you call cylinder. It's completely up to you, okay? What I'm showing you is just the basic here, okay? So, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And I'm sorry if this is a little bit too long because my wrist cannot, uh, well, I cannot move around my wrist too much here. And yeah, I hope you understand about that. Ah, okay. And I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Okay now? Bye.